Hey guys, the reason you don't see such comparisons often is because to some people at least it could seem silly comparing earbuds to headphones. These are two totally different form factors that serve different needs. But being as charismatic and wise as I am, I know for a fact that some of you might be struggling with questions like, is the Ultra headphones that much better at performance to justify paying that much more? Or can I get satisfied with the earbuds instead? That's what we're going to talk about today. And at the end of this video, we'll discuss which one is a better purchase for different needs. But before that, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check the latest prices of these products, I've included links to their Amazon pages in the pinned comment below. Right now, we're going to compare their mic pickup in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe noise and some wind noise coming from this fan. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Bose QC Ultra headphones. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Bose QC Ultra earbuds. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Bose QC Ultra headphones. The quick drum box jumps over amazing on. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Bose QC Ultra earbuds. The quick drum box jumps over amazing on. I think that voice pickup sounds quite similar in quiet conditions, but in noisy, windy conditions, the Ultra headphones do perform a bit better at picking up my voice above the noise, while on the earbuds, my voice fades out a lot. Now we're going to compare their active noise cancelling using the same cafe background noise as before. In terms of active noise cancelling, the headphones do sound quieter in the mid-range than the Ultra earbuds. This also means that since the Ultra earbuds are the best noise cancelling buds in the market, the Bose QC Ultra headphones are quieter than any earbuds in the market right now. Pretty impressive stuff. If you want to compare their active noise cancelling and call quality to other headphones or earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare headphones and earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up, especially people who can simply visit a store anytime to compare headphones. They know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these products remotely without visiting a store. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. They're both very close in terms of transparency pass-through, what they call aware mode. On Max Aware, it almost feels like you're not wearing the earbuds or headphones, except for the earbuds having a bit more occlusion in the mid-range frequencies. The difference is not that obvious at first, but when you start having a conversation with someone, then that muffling on the earbuds becomes more obvious. But otherwise, they are very close in terms of transparency. In terms of sound quality, since the fitment is different, we can expect very different sound signatures. For example, the Ultra earbuds. These will sound more compact, its bass also feels more impactful compared to the Ultra headphones, but it's got more emphasis on the upper mids above 1.3 kHz, which gives vocals a more radio-like quality. They also do sound rather tensed up compared to the Ultra headphones, which simply have a more relaxed sound signature with better clarity and detail, cleaner track separation, and a wider soundstage compared to the Ultra earbuds. Listen to the following sound samples and let me know in the comments what you think.
This also means that when you're using immersive mode on these products, audio sounds more enveloping on the Ultra headphones compared to the earbuds. And by the way, if you want to compare the sound quality of these products to other products, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. Okay, we've just looked at their differences in terms of sound quality, noise cancelling, and mic pickup. Now we're going to break down which one of these products is more suitable for your needs. Now, obviously, if portability is your top priority, and if you want something that you can take everywhere, you should get the Ultra Earbuds. Because even if its case isn't that small, it is still quite a bit smaller as a package compared to these headphones. Plus, you can simply bring the earbuds out while leaving the case at home. Of course, do keep in mind that its battery life is also quite a bit shorter compared to the QC Ultra headphones. It's also possible to use these earbuds for phone calls one side at a time to extend its battery, which is just another benefit of the Bose QC Ultra. And if you need something to use for working out, earbuds are also more suitable for that purpose. Now, I know for a fact that some people use headphones for working out, but I've learned over the years that it drastically shortens the headphones lifespan, especially when there's a lot of sweating involved, because you'd have to deal with things like corrosion and rust in the driver compartment, cushions that get sticky and smelly. You don't really have to deal with that problem with earbuds, just try to keep them as dry as possible after working out. The reason to get the Ultra headphones over the earbuds, aside from better noise cancelling and sound, which are very important factors, is definitely the longer battery endurance. You don't have to charge these as often as the earbuds. And this also is a big requirement if you fly a lot. For example, you can hop on a long haul flight over 12 to 18 hours, and throughout the flight, you could enjoy your own content, some background music when sleeping, and all the while cancelling the plane noise without interruption. You can also plug the headphones directly into the in-flight entertainment system, which is something that you can't do with the Ultra earbuds. Another big plus over the earbuds is multi-point pairing. You can get connected to two devices at the same time and switch connections between them for calls and audio. The Bose QC Ultra earbuds don't have multi-point pairing at all. So, those are some compelling reasons to get the headphones over the earbuds, but as I've pointed out before, there are also some reasons to get the earbuds over the headphones. Either way, if you've got any more questions about these products, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more comparisons like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified for more videos. I'm also on Twitter where I tweet about stuff I'm passionate about, so do follow me there. And by the way, I've also reviewed the Bose QC Ultra earbuds, comparing them to the most popular buds in the market right now. If that's a video you need to watch, click right here.